Hello everyone, for this video we will be discussing the last of the ancient philosopher who believed that the development of the self is achieved through self-presentation and self-realization, and that is Saint Augustine. A bit later we will be pondering about his philosophy. Well, after Plato died, his ideas regarding the body and the immortality of the soul has also died and have not been adopted by the subsequent culture. It was only after more than 500 years when Plotinus, a Roman philosopher, added a new breadth of the view of Plato regarding the soul. Plotinus is so ashamed of the idea that his soul, which is considered to be superior, is caged into the inferior vessel and that is the body. Thus, he would not want to celebrate his birthdays because he felt sad of the idea that each year that passes his life, his soul still remains contained into the imperfect body. Disdain to his body and to free his soul from the imperfect body he then neglected it and eventually his health deteriorated that he already lost his voice, past laden sores, and abscesses covered his hands and feet. Plotinus' idea influenced St. Augustine and it is through St. Augustine that the idea regarding the soul penetrated the Western consciousness. St. Augustine actually integrated Plato's philosophical ideas to the important ideas also of Christianity. With how Plotinus treated his body, as he felt ashamed that he neglected it, and how Plotinus believer see the body and soul, St. Augustine then stated, if the Platonists could have had their lives over again with us, they would have become Christians, with a change of a few words and a statement. St. Augustine also adopted Socrates and Plato's vision of the dualism of reality, the physical realm being represented by the body, which is changing, imperfect, and dies, while the ideal realm, which is described as unchanging and immortal, and survives after the death of the body. While St. Augustine is a converted Christian, he was actually once had a crooked life during his younger years, and his previous life led him to really search for the meaning of his life. And as a converted Christian, he adopted the metaphysics of Christian belief in terms of discussing his philosophy, and that differentiated him with how he viewed the soul and the body. For Plato, immortal soul achieves eternal realm through intellectual enlightenment, while for St. Augustine, eternal soul strives to achieve God through faith and reason. In terms of how Plato and St. Augustine views the body, both stands with their idea that it is actually inferior. Hence, St. Augustine also views the body as a proving ground for eternal destiny. For St. Augustine, as based on the book of Salvation Villafuerte, the development of the self is achieved through self-presentation and self-realization. St. Augustine was not afraid to accept to himself and tell to people about his sinfulness. However, the realization of the wasted self is achieved through his conversion of the faith. Thus, his journey towards understanding the self was centered on his religious convictions and beliefs. This means that the development of ourself will start if a person already realizes the kind of person he or she is. But the question is, 
What did you do after you realize your own self-presentation? Because if you have not done anything about it, then there will be no development of the self. And for St. Augustine, he focused his journey towards understanding the self through his religious conviction and beliefs. And according to him, man's end goal in life is happiness. If you are able to recognize God, then that's the time you can attain through happiness. After all, human beings alone without God are bound to fail. And for St. Augustine, Christianity is the full and true philosophy. And that ends our short discussion for the philosophy of St. Augustine. If you learned something from our lecture, please do not hesitate to like and share this video, hit the bell notification to get notified, and subscribe to our channel for more videos. See you in our next video discussion.